All right, folks, welcome back to beautiful Peachland, North Carolina, down here at Firewater Farm Sawmill. We're cutting up some pine logs today. These ain't just real, real big pine logs, but they got some good size to them. They're 12 foot long and they're 18 inches. Folks, this log right here has a good little bit of weight to it, as this one here does as well. This is a little bit bigger one. This one here is around 22 inches. So 12 foot long, 22 inch log, that's got a lot of weight to it. What we're gonna show you, we're gonna show you a little tip. This ain't nothing I come up with. This is what uh, Dave, our sawyer, come up with. And I noticed him doing this, and I just wanted to share it with y'all. So when he loads this log, this log's gonna come up and it's gonna roll. And generally on this cook's mill, what happens, it hits these clamps. So to prevent all that inertia, all that energy, what he does, he pulls this log turner up right here and it helps distribute the load from hitting just these two clamps to hitting all three of these. Thought it was a good tip. Anybody out there that has a cooks, you might want to think about doing that, especially if you're cutting white oak logs or heavy pine logs. Uh, even some of your other mills, if you have any kind of other support on that other side when you load that log, it just helps the longevity of your equipment. And that's what we're after right here. We ain't after tearing stuff up. We like to, you know, hey, use every little bit that we can on the mill to support that weight. So we're gonna load this log up, get to cutting it, and show you what we're talking about. Y'all hang on. Folks, maybe this helps you out a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see in the video how it kind of helps support the weight of this log rolling. Like I said, it's a lot of weight rolling onto your mill at once. So we try to use every little bit that we can to support that log when it comes up. I thought it was a good tip. If this helps anybody out, y'all let us know. Thank you and y'all have a good day. Also in today's video, we're not just going to only give y'all some tips and tricks to help you have a more longer lifespan with the equipments on your sawmill, but we're also going to be cutting up some wood today. So real quick, I just want to tell y'all what we're cutting up today and why we're cutting it. So what we're cutting up today, or as what you see now, is some pine. And that's what we're going to be cutting up for the next three to four weeks. We're going to be cutting up some 2x8s, some 2x6s, some 2x4s, a little bit of 1x8s. Uh, we're going to be cutting up a little bit of everything of uh, dimensions in it, but the most common is we're going to be cutting up is some 2x8s, 2x6s, and 2x4s. They're all going to be nominal lumber, so more or less a store-bought piece of wood. And the only piece that won't be kind of like a store-bought wood would be your 2x8s, and they're going to be inch and a half by 8 inches wide, but the rest of them, like the 2x6s, will be inch and a half by 5 and a half, and the 2x4s fours will be inch and a half by three and a half so those two will be most likely your normal store-bought piece of wood and those three dimensions like I said before those are going to be the three most common things we're going to be cutting up for the next three to four weeks I also want to say that it's been a blessing to get these pine logs I don't know about any of you sawyers out there but down here at Firewater Farm Sawmill for us at least we've been struggling to get pine logs for a while actually but all the pine that you see in today's video and upcoming videos it all came down the road less than two miles away and we're going to be using every bit of it for ourselves but the reasoning for them was is because they're going to build a dollar general where them logs were and they had a bunch we at least had about four or six loads of pine hauling it back and forth and back when i was saying that we were struggling to get pine before we hauled all these pine logs we had either one to none of pine at the time so again it has been a blessing for them pine logs and happy to say that we're going to be cutting them up for a good use and also one more thing before i go is that them two videos that i made a while back the one that's called how to grade logs or how to grade lumber those are actually the same logs that you'll be seeing in today's video so if you haven't seen them two videos already or at least one of them just click on the top right to watch but other than that that's what we're going to be doing today cutting up some lumber for ourselves thank you for watching and enjoy the video
All right, folks, we just got done milling our two by eights. Uh, they're actually inch and a half by eight inches. Uh, what we're getting ready to do now, we're getting ready to scrape the sawdust off of it and stack it. The reason we scrape the sawdust off, one reason, it keeps the sawdust from mildewing on top of our lumber. And another reason, we're gonna kiln dry this stuff, folks. And last thing you want is a bunch of sawdust flying around in your kiln. Because once it gets in your kiln and it flies around in the air, generally it can get in your eyes. So we do that for safety and uh, make the lumber a little more prettier. So as you see right here, we have our stickers laid out. Now we get pretty particular when we're kiln drying stuff. Nile tells us we have to do every 16 inches. We support that lumber every 16 inches all the way down. And that really makes a difference. When you start drying this stuff, it really makes a difference to have your lumber supported. It keeps it straight. And that's what we're after. We're after good straight lumber. So if you're gonna kiln dry stuff, you need to think about when you're stacking it you need to go ahead and set you something up that's nice and level some good runners underneath it and that's what we have here some good runners underneath everything and it takes a lot of wood to make all your runners you need to find you some old logs or whatever and cut you some what we call dunnage you put up under so hope this helps you out we're about to get to work <laughs> 